What's up guys, Nathan Sutton back with another video and today we are talking about everything you need to know before you get married. As most of you guys know, we are wedding videographers as a profession and so we've been to so many weddings and along the way we've learned so many things about how to make your day run as smooth and easy as possible. So we've been a part of about three to four hundred weddings I would say. And we uh, travel so if you don't live here, it's okay. Yeah, we've been to the Bahamas, we've been to Greece, all over the United States. Our wedding company is called Wed Flicks. We're on YouTube, Instagram, check us out. Tip number one. This is a big one to me. Tip number one is to, if you can, have everything at one location. A lot of times when we're filming weddings, we go to getting ready, mm. then we go to the ceremony, then we go to pictures somewhere else but between the ceremony reception, then the reception, then another spot for pictures. And it's like, if you're paying for your vendors, like your photographer and videographer may be some of your most expensive vendors, I would say. And if, you're, if you want the most out of their time, do everything at one location because every minute that they're driving to and from other places, you're paying for it. And not only getting the most out of your vendor's time, but also getting the most out of your time. Your day is going to be so much more enjoyable and relaxed if you don't have to worry about getting all your stuff and moving from one location to the next location. So many opportunities for things to get left behind. We've yeah. been to so many weddings like, oh, we left the rings and like someone has to go back and get them. Yeah, no matter how great you are at planning your wedding, it just, weddings have a way of being stressful already. So anything that you can do to cut back on that stress, to give yourself more time, it's gonna make your day so much more enjoyable. Our next tip would be to say your own vows, to write your own personalized vows. Huge. Yeah, this is, <laughs> it's so, I think a lot of couples, this intimidates a lot of couples because they think they're gonna get emotional and they're not gonna be able to get through it, but that's what makes it beautiful. And that, special. Yeah, and special, especially for the video. I mean, we love, <laughs> we love that stuff. We're a little biased. Yeah, but if you want, and it makes uh, not only the ceremony that much more meaningful to you, the bride and the groom, but also to your guests. Everyone has heard the traditional wedding ceremony vows, you know, endless amounts of times. And I also feel like there's no heart in just like repeating someone else's words. Like they're just telling you what to say and you're just word vomiting back what they tell you to say. Yeah. So but it's special to like write down your own feelings and like your own promises to each other, like the promises that you're making and... It's just really special. Don't be scared to cry. Yeah, me and Sutton, we were crying babies on our yeah. wedding day. But as I met you and got to know you and see you standing here in front of me, it all makes perfect sense. You're the man I've prayed for my entire life. For God to protect you, keep you prayer, give you wisdom and strength, build your character, and to prepare you for me as he was preparing me for you. But we have our vows written on our, and framed on our walls right now. It's that meaningful to us. Another thing that a lot of you guys may not think of is for the bride to get her hair and makeup done a little bit earlier in the day. It's the most typical thing for the bride to be last. She wants her hair and makeup to be the most fresh that it can be. But for photo and video purposes, it is really important for you to be done earlier in the day because if, like for us, we do interviews with the bride and a lot of times she'll cry or get emotional reading her letter or something like that. If she gets her hair and makeup done earlier, her makeup artist is still there to fix anything that happened. But if she goes last, not only are you crunched for time, but then no one's there to fix anything that happened. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, 90 plus percent of the time, hair and makeup runs late. So if you're the last one to it go... Like, I think it's 100% like every single time. Yeah, <laughs> it's been very few times that it's actually ran on time. So if you're the last one to go, well everything is going to be pushed back because everyone's waiting on you to get dressed and get your photos and everything. So, um, yeah. So let your bridesmaids and stuff go after you because people usually aren't waiting on them. Like they can kind of be ready whenever, but like you're the most important part of the day, obviously. So got to be ready. So this one, we are very biased, but we would highly suggest booking photo and video together if possible. If you can find someone who does both of them great, which is hard to come by, but hey, we do it. We get the job done. But if you can find a company that does photo and video together, it's really, really good because they know how to work synergistically together. They've worked together many times before. They know how to 
just get the shots done that they need to get and work together. Where a lot of the times the, ph the photographers and videographers seem to kind of clash on a wedding day because they each have their own agenda in mind and the shots that they want to get. So if they're working against each other, you're not going to get the most out of your photos and video. But if you can find a company who does it together, hashtag Wedflix, um, you're going to get the most bang for your buck. And not only that, but you're going to save money. Like a lot, I know yeah. that we, when you book photo and video together, it's a discount. So I'm sure other companies out there, if you want to go local, they would have a discount if you booked them together. Another tip, this one's kind of random, but something that we kind of get aggravated about on wedding days is like when people are stressing about rain because weather is something that you can't control. So like looking at it constantly is not going to change anything. And on our wedding day, personally, it poured down rain all day long. Maybe we could put a clip in here of how hard it was raining on our day. And it was fine. Like we were just not stressing about it. We're like, hey, we're going to be married. It's fine. And our indoor option was no good. <laughs> And so we were like determined to get married outside. So it stopped. We got a little window of 30 minutes. We wiped, wiped the chairs off and did it outside. Yeah, and we've done tons of weddings that it has rained. And a lot of the times they can turn out to be like some of our coolest weddings just because it's yeah. so unique. You know, you can get some really cool creative shots. A lot of times the clouds are looking really cool. And I think it just kind of goes back to really remembering what the day is all about. You know, if you're really that worried and that I know I know you want beautiful pictures and you want it to be sunny and everything but after all the, at the end of the day what matters most is that you're getting married to the person that you love and that is what matters so keep your attention on that and speaking of rain if it does rain on your wedding day one of the coolest things that you can do is have your maid of honor or best man or somebody the coordinator to bottle that rain i wish we would have done that yeah we would have had so much <laughs> i know it, it's so cool to have the rain as a memory you know that you can look back at 10 a souvenir souvenir <laughs> 10 20 50 years from now knowing that's the rain that was on your wedding day so if it does rain bottle it up and if you're ever at a wedding you should do this as a gift oh, to your friend. Like if your friend is the bride, it would be a great gift. Like, you know, just set a cup out there and then a little bit later, go get it. And after the wedding, give it to her. I think that's really special. The next big tip, and this is really important if you're, if you want to get good photos and video, and that is to not save the best lighting of the day for family photos. So, so many of the times what we see is the couple gets married the sun is setting, especially it kind of depends on what time of year you're getting married. This is especially true in the fall and winter. The sun starts setting. It's looking so beautiful and gorgeous outside, but they're taking family photos. And by the time they get to the couple, it's, all we want to do is like pull the couple away and like just get them together. I know. By the, it's called golden hour for a reason. It looks <laughs> absolutely stunning on photo and video. So what your photographer videographer should know the best lighting of the day for photos and video so take their lead on this but keep in mind if the sun is setting and you only have 15 minutes of good daylight left for a couple photos get your couple portraits in and then you can always do family photos inside with a flash you can or do them in the pitch darkness who cares like you're never going to look at those pictures never but the ones of you and you two together are going to be the ones on your walls and in your frames for the rest of your life so yes. that's so important it's we've been to so many weddings where like the sun is setting we're like oh my goodness <laughs> come take, on they're taking photos with their dog right now <laughs> <laughs> Or with their far distant uncle that they've met one time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Another random tip that I wish I would have thought of on my wedding day is to have a specific bottle of perfume for that day. I wish that I would have bought a bottle of perfume that I only use on my wedding day because I don't know about you guys, but for me, my biggest memory trigger is a smell. And when I smell something, it just like instantly brings me back to wherever I first smelled that smell. And I wish I... I wish I would have done that with perfume. So guys, if you're looking for your bride a gift, that would be a great gift idea. Or girls, if you're watching, just, just do it for yourself. And not only that, you can save it for like special occasions, you know, that, that special date night. So when you put that perfume on, your groom is like thinking of the wedding night. Yeah, it's not only <laughs> gonna bring you back, but when he smells it, I'm sure it'll do it for him too. Yeah. So our next big tip is we strongly suggest either having a coordinator or somebody that is in charge of the day. Someone who's directing people, telling people what to do. 
especially if you're having like a lower end budget wedding. I know a lot of times people skip out on a coordinator. We did. Yeah, we did, which is fine, but make sure you have someone that you feel confident in that they are going to take charge. They're going to tell people what to do because it really helps to have someone like that on the day of, because if you don't, it's, it's going to get messy. Yeah, and we would also suggest going along with that is having like a designated question answer because on your day, there are so many questions coming at you and it bothers me so bad when I'm like watching the bride and everyone is coming up to her like asking her questions that she doesn't know the answer to and I feel like all they're doing is like stressing her out. So brides, if you're watching this, tell your maid of honor like, hey, you're going to answer all the questions like any, and then if they come to you, be like, ask her like that's all you have to say, just ask her. And then you don't have to stress or worry about anything. You just relax. And we'll end with this. So our final tip for your wedding day is to soak it in. Yes. Just take it slow and pay attention to everything. Like I remember doing that on our wedding day. I was like looking at everything, like trying to commit it to memory and make the day just feel slow. But when you're all rushing around all day long, it's very stressful. Yeah, it's it's so easy to get caught up on the little details of the day because, you know, your wedding day is such a big deal, especially if, it, you know, you're someone who's dreamt about it your entire life. You can get caught up on such little details. Like I've seen brides get so worked up because someone forgot their tie or like one of the buttons was missing on the groomsman's shirt or something like that. That is just it's so, okay. it's so silly. Remember... <laughs> The meaning of the day, whether it's rain or shine, whether everything goes according to plan or not, if you're getting married, that's what matters, that's what counts, and we want you to enjoy your wedding day. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Hope these tips were something that you can take away to really enjoy your wedding day that much more. But in the meantime, this is Nathan Sutton sowing seeds of truth, love, and inspiration one view at a time. And that was everything you need to know for your wedding day. 